In the metrology and measurement subjects, the multiple choice questions on unit 2 linear and angular measurements for remaining topics are discussed in this video. Plug gauge is used for measuring cylindrical bores. Plug, plug gauge is an limit gauge. So limits, limits are maximum and maximum limit and minimum limit. Maximum metal limit and minimum metal limit. So go and no go gauges are used to check the limits. So limit gauges are go gauges and no go gauges. Uh, plug gauge is also the type of limit gauges. Go gauges. So this is a, um, a shaft with a hole. This is a hole. Uh, in this it is used to check a hole. Okay. So in the hole. So the go gauge should enter and not go gauge should not enter. Okay. So the go gauge should be according to Taylor's principle of gauge design. Uh, go gauge is designed to check the maximum metal conditions and no go gauge is uh, designed to check the minimum metal conditions. So in this gauge the, the go gauge should go inside the hole and not go gauge. So not go gauge is having higher dimensions that of the actual hole so it should not enter so uh, this is a this is for this is a go and no go gauges are called as a limit gauges like that for shaft the shaft uh, that is the go and no ga go gauges are the replica of the uh, it is of made opposite to that of the shape of that object to be measured for shaft it is made in the form of a pipe Okay, for hole it is made in the form of solid shaft. For measuring hole it is made in the form of solid shaft. But for shaft it is made in the form of a cylindrical pipe. Okay, so the go gauge should enter the shaft and no go gauge should not enter the shaft. Okay, the not go gauge is made of very small di made the dimensions of the hole is reduced. Dimensions of the hole in the not go gauge is reduced and it should not enter okay this is the actual dimension the go gauge should enter and not go gauge should enter the enter the shaft okay uh, so the this is a plug gauge so plug gauges are used for measuring holes and a ring and snap gauges are used for measuring the shaft shaft dimensions okay plug gauges double ended plug gauges in the double ended plug gauges one end is the go end this go in, so usually normally uh, in a single piece uh, one end is made of go gauge and another end is made of not go gauge the go gauge is first inserted it should go into the hole uh, the not go gauge should not enter into the hole then only the work piece is accepted it is mainly used in uh, inspection departments in order to speed speed the um, inspection process so this go and no go gauges are designed in the progressive plug gauges the go and not go gauges are at the same end okay. so go gauge is at the first it should go and not go gauge should not enter it is called as a progressive plug gauges so the first question the plug plug gauge is used for measuring cylindrical bores or cylindrical holes okay it is not spherical bores spherical holes are not screw threads not cylinders it is used for measuring cylindrical bores or cylindrical holes. So this is a plug gauge. So this is a plug gauge. It is used for measuring holes. Whereas snap gauges and ring gauges are used for measuring shaft. So it is a plug gauge. So this uh, red color should not enter. So it is a not go gauge. And this end should enter. This green end should enter and red color should not enter. So it is a go gauge and it is a not go gauge it is a cylindrical plug gauges which is used for measuring holes which of the following statement is not correct about taylor's gauge design go go gauges are in full form okay so it is correct go gauges are in full form go gauges can check many dimensions at a time it is also correct go gauges can check many dimensions at a time no no go gauges check only one dimension at a time it is also correct Go gauges check only one dimension at a time. It is not correct. Answer is D. Okay. Not correct about Taylor's gauge design. First three are correct. 
so go gauges can check many dimensions but not go gauges no go gauges will check only one dimension at a time so answer is d so plug gauges are used to check the diameter of the holes in work pieces it is not the it will not measure the diameter of holes because it is an end gauge it only checks the diameter of holes it is an it is not a line standard it is a end standard plug gauges and limit gauges are all end standards it will compare or it will check the diameter of holes in the work pieces so the answer is c uh, go gauges are meant to check multiple features go gauges can check multiple features at a time but no go gauges will check only one dimension at a time so go gauges are designed to check multiple features at a time answer is b then ring gauges ring gauges are used to check the it is not the uh, diameter of the holes in work pieces plug gauges or ring gauges have uh, ring gauges have holes inside it so this one is no go, no uh, go gauge another one is no go gauge okay it has holes inside so it can be measured it can be used to measure outside diameter of work pieces so uh, so not it will not measure taper inside taper or outside taper it will not measure the diameter of holes for to measure the diameter of holes plug gauges are used to measure the diameter of work pieces solid shaft ring gauges and snap gauges are used answer is d the combination set can be used to measure that is check angular surfaces it can be used to check angular surfaces answer is a a feeler gauge feeler gauge is also a type of limit gauge it can be used to check a feeler gauge is a thickness gauge okay it measures a clearance thickness for example the clearance between a piston and cylinder can be checked using this feeler gauge so one may be used as go gauge and another may be you know, another feeler gauge can be used as not go gauges and it can be used to check thickness clearance thickness so feeler gauges can be used to check clearance thickness answer is c the following type of gauge has gauging sections combined on one end progressive gauge the progressive gauge has combined on go end and no go end on the same side so it is called as progressive gauge answer is a the gauges having c shaped frame with adjustable gauging anvils or rolls set to go and no go limits of the part that is snap gauges rim gauges taper gauges plug gauges answer is a so it is has a c shaped frame with adjustable gauging anvils and to set go and no go limits of the parts so this is a snap gauge okay it can be used to measure outside diameter of the shafts okay so it has a c shaped frame with adjustable gauging anvils so the snap gauges answer is a then a sign bar so sign bars are also used in angular measurements so sign bar is specified by its total length center distance between the rollers the size of the rollers the weight of the sign bar so answer is b the center distance between the roller so sign bars works on the sign law sin theta equal to opposite side by hypotenuse so sin theta equal to h by l so sign bars are always used in a combination with uh, slip cages and surface plate a surface plate is uh, it is kept over the surface plate and uh, it consists of two rollers sign bar consists of two rollers and the center distance between the rollers is a, f- a fixed one it is 100 mm 200 mm or 300 mm it is exactly uh, fixed one and the uh, upper faces and lower faces are perfectly parallel okay the the two rollers the axis central axis distance between the two rollers are perfectly parallel and the flatness of the top surface is uh, very very precise okay here the slip gauges or gauge blocks are used on this uh, side and one end of the roller is resting on surface plate and other end of the roller is placed over the uh, gauge blocks okay and this uh, angle of angle can be measured using Uh, sin theta equal to h by l this is a principle of uh, sin gauge okay it is made of highly hardened uh, chromium hardened and ground and corrosion resistant steel sin bar is made of corrosion resistant steel so the two rollers must have equal diameter and two cylinders rollers must be set parallel to each other precise center distance between the roller must be known upper face must have the high degree of flatness 
Sign bars are made from high carbon, high chromium, corrosion resistant steels, hardened, ground and stabilized. So sin theta equal to h by L. So, um, so sin theta equal to h by L in the first diagram. Sin theta equal to h by L. It can be measured using this. And the second diagram checking of unknown angles. The work piece is placed over the, if the work piece is very smaller in size, it can be placed over the sign bar and the two dial indicators are uh, placed over the work uh, so the dial indicators are in contact with the work piece and the height of uh, slip cages can be varied okay height of slip cages can be varied okay when the component is small and can be mounted on the sign bar then setting of instruments for measuring unknown angles of the component surface is shown in figure 1 the height of the slip cages is adjusted and until the dial gauge reads 0 at both the ends of the common end okay so so dial gauge should read zero at both the ends of the common end okay so dial gauge should uh, read zero at both the end of the common end at both the end of the workpiece the dial gauge should give the zero reading until that you have to um, you have to keep more number of slip cages over that okay you have to place a slip cage uh, you have to place a dial gauge over the workpiece and you have to check uh, zero reading on both the ends okay uh, then you have to measure the unknown angle so this is figure one then two and this is for very heavy common end uh, if the common end is very large you have to uh, place a sign bar in the tilted position over the common end okay the common end is the bottom the bottom one is a common end or work piece over that the sign bar is placed in the tilted condition okay here two uh, vernier height gauges are used uh, to measure the height okay uh, the first uh, first height ga height gauge gives a reading h1 and the uh, second height gauge ga give the reading h2 the h2 minus h1 is measured and uh, from this uh, you can measure the angle theta so sign center is used in the so sign bars are used in the so sign bar is specified by the center distance between the rollers 100 mm 200 mm or 300 mm so answer is b sign center is used in the measurement of semi angle of taper on the job answer is a so a sign center a sign center is also it is like a lathe having two spindles and the work piece is placed over the work piece is placed between the uh, two spindles of the sign bar uh, then the height is adjusted until the dial gauge reads zero okay from this that the angle can be measured the angle theta can be measured uh, by means of this height and the uh, length of uh, center distance between the roller becomes a length of the uh, length so sin theta equal to h by l okay sin center sign bar hinged on one roller two blocks are mounted on the top surface of the sign bar which carry two centers and can be clamped at any position of the sign bar two centers can be adjusted depending upon the so the procedure to measure angle is same as that of the sign bar you have to use a dial indicator to measure the angle so the sign bars become increasingly impracticable and accurate as the angle exceeds 45 degree if the angle exceeds 45 degree it will become inaccurate okay it is the main limitation of sign bar it cannot be used to be beyond the angle 45 degree and the sign bar become inaccurate okay uh, in pneumatic comparators which one of the following is not correct uh, so in pneumatic comparators uh, internal dimensions can be readily measured not only with respect to tolerance but also to geometric form uh, no physical contact is made during uh, measurement uh, eliminates error due to dirt and foreign matter single gauging head is required for different dimensions so this is not uh, correct so answer is d all others are correct internal dimensions can be measured no physical contact in pneumatic component no physical contact can be made and it can eliminate error uh, due to dirt and uh, foreign matter uh, so so answer is d okay thank you